Hey everyone, it's Jack here from Echo Room Recordings again. So I've started this video series and now I'm gonna do a video series within this video series. Um, and this one is all about music that I love, music that's really, really inspired me and has helped me as a musician myself um, to kind of make better music. I absolutely love it when people recommend music for me and it's music that I love because it stays with me for the whole of my life. And I think it's the same for everyone. You know, if if something really touches you, it never leaves you. And and you may go through periods where you listen to it a lot. You may go through periods where you don't listen to it at all. But the amount of joy and pleasure that you'll get from that throughout, you know, the whole of your life is just humongous. So hopefully I can recommend some stuff to you guys. Um, maybe stuff you haven't heard. If it is stuff you have heard, maybe you can listen to it in a different way. Um, because I want to kind of delve a little bit deeper into these songs and talk a little bit about production, a little bit about arrangement, about kind of, you know, the, the technical details that might help you as musicians. So the first song in this series is one of my top 100 favourite songs of all time, and it's Frank Sinatra's One For My Baby. Um, I absolutely love this song. He recorded it quite a few times throughout his career, um, the one that I've linked in the description below is, I think, his 1954 version that he recorded for a film called Young at Heart. It's originally written by a guy called Tony Arlen, I believe. Sorry, Harold Arlen. Um, but it's just an absolute gem. It's one of those all-time classics. What I love about this one is how Frank sells this song as a singer. My friend Darren always used to say that there are maybe better singers in the world, but no one can sell a song like Frank Sinatra. And I think it's never been truer than in this song. Um, I believe every single word that he sings and you just absolutely can picture his story. You know, it, it paints just such a vivid image. And you can, I think that the, the key thing is, is that you believe him. You absolutely believe him that he's been down to these depths. Um, you've, a lot of you have probably heard this song before, but it's, if for those of you who haven't heard it, it's, it's basically set, the scene is set, the guy is sat at a bar, at, you know, close to three in the morning. He's talking to the bartender. He probably hasn't got anyone else to talk to. He's spouting the same old stories off to this bartender about so, how some girl has broken his heart. You kind of get the impression that the bartender is probably a bit sick of it. He's anxious to close. You know, he, he doesn't really want to be there. But this poor guy, he hasn't got anyone else to talk to. He's it, The loneliness of the song just jumps out at you. You know, like it's very heartbreaking, the song, I find at least. Um, and each verse of this song is it's almost like a complete film. Um, within you know four or five minutes this track and that's what I love about it so much each verse sends you off on a different kind of tangent within within this story and um, there's it's I, I think analog recording had this beautiful peak you know and it really really started to hit its stride in the late 50s mid 50s to late 50s and listening to the recording of this track i really don't think that it's ever been topped in a way you know they were absolute masters of their trade these guys they knew how to get the the most out of an orchestra out of a piano how to use rooms how to you know to record a vocal and it's just a complete masterwork of production this as well as songwriting as well as storytelling as well as performance it's all of that wrapped into one thing so um if you guys can get something from this, then please, you know, please just sit down, find a quiet moment, put the headphones on, put the speakers on and just let it wash over you. Just really, really kind of find a quiet time to fully, fully appreciate this song because it's, I promise you, it's worth, it's worth the time to do it. Um, hopefully you enjoy it. You know, if you do, please write in the comments, tell me about it. I'm really interested to know what people think about this music. Um, this is just the first one I'm going to go through, you know, all the musical genres. Um, this is just the first track that popped into my mind this week because I've been listening to it a lot. Um, yeah, and thank you very much for watching this and hopefully I'll catch you on the next video.